happening everyone? My name is Raymond. Welcome back to the channel where I talk about all the complexities of dealing with type 1 diabetes and how to manage it the easy way. Uh, today's kind of off script. <laughs> uh, I slept really good. Really good. Uh, I can't remember the last time I slept pretty much straight through. Uh, which is odd. It's very, very odd. Anyways, um, off script today is going to be a short video. I just wanted to kind of vlog um, a day off for me. Now, when I say it's a day off, anyone that knows me knows that it's hard for me to rest. Uh, not not working, but um, to not slam a workout in, to not put in a half hour of work in, you know, it's really, really difficult. When people say they take days off where it's hard for them to take a day off, um, I, I don't think they're on my same level. I have to literally have mental capacity to tell myself to not work out. My thing with not working out is I have to get past noon. Um, if I get past noon and I don't put on my sweater, I don't go to school, I don't get creative at home, I don't do like 500 push-ups with squats at home or whatnot. Um, if I can get past noon, and not work out, I'm pretty much in the clear. Because then I eat. <laughs> then I get lazy. Um, but working out, guys, is so important, but also uh, as so as rest days. And I know people are gonna write comments. Everyone that knows me, been on me for years about resting, taking days off. And it's hard. I'm telling you right now, it's not like it's, it's not as easy as, as what people think it is. Oh, just take a day off. You're hurting all the time. It's easy. Just take a Sunday off. No, it's, it's legit. I only know one person. <laughs> right, Wells? <laughs> I only know one person that outworks me. And he outworks. He, he's, there's something wrong with that guy. <laughs> he's on another level. But I equate work and my personal friends know this because I have many discussions. I equate work for success. I equate not being lazy for being successful. And again, success is different. I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about fitness. I'm, success is different on different levels, right? But I've been programmed. I don't, I don't know by who. Maybe my dad, right? We're, we're self-employed. I equate work to being successful. And the reason why I'm talking about this off script is it's hard for me to it's hard for me to accept. It's hard for me to All right, Raymond, you're not going to do anything today. <laughs> right? You're not going to work out. You're not going to sweat. You're not going to go to school. You're going to give a chance for your body to recover. And that's, that's hard. That's people that know, post comments. <laughs> post comments if you know me personally. Um, and you know how hard it is to work out. It's not, it's, it's, it's probably, it's probably just as hard. It's not eating my cheesecake. <laughs> it's probably just as hard. Like if I see my, my cheesecake in front of me. And I don't, I don't dig for it. That's probably the same same equation uh, for me to not work out. So it's not as simple as, well, I'm just lazy. No. Anyone knows me knows me. I talk like I'm lazy, but straight out I'll put the work in, right? Regardless of how I feel. Regardless, I can suck it up, right? I can suck it up for half hour. And that's why, that's my problem, right? It's like there's 24 hours in a day. Yeah, you sleep for a couple hours, right? It's a half hour of work. It's not a big deal, right? So I have to get over that. <laughs> I have to get over that mindset of, dude, you need to relax, right? Um, so to, guys, today's rare. Um, today's an off day. I'm, I'm getting kind of better. I'm getting kind of better with um, taking taking Sunday, Sundays off. I have to plan things. If I don't plan things, I'm going to work out. So... Today I had nothing planned. It was really mentally hard for me to not work out. 
So in today's video, guys, you're gonna see you know me kind of do stuff in the morning. Um, my stretches. I did a walk. I didn't, I didn't record my walk. Um, I had to cut my walk short because I started to sweat. And once I start to sweat, once my body gets warm, I start feeling good. So I cut it short at three Ks, right? Because if I don't, if I don't stop, if I don't stop myself, um, as soon as I start to feel good, as soon as I start, my body starts to loosen up and whatnot, dude, I'm telling you, I'll go, right? And I'm not a walker, but I'll walk 10 Ks. And I normally walk, I normally take walks. <laughs> this is why I'm extreme. I normally take walks with a loaded backpack. 20, 27 pounds. That's normal, right? And I'll go for, on average, if I do go for a walk, a rare walk, six, seven Ks, easy, easy, right? With a garbage bag on, what's with double sweaters, but anyways, right? So I walk for 3K in the morning. It was right in the morning. I started to sweat probably in the lap, probably at that 18, 19 minute mark, sweating real good. So I just, I just took wherever I was, get back home, right? Um, so then I came home and, and so this video is going to be about what I did afterwards. Um, did some other stuff that I didn't film. But short video guys, is me resting. <laughs> On a Sunday I rested. Um, like, comment, subscribe, guys, uh, and just kind of enjoy the video. All right, peace.